Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're out at this uh, this river. It's known as the Snooze River, and uh, we were uh, just walking along the bank of the river, and uh, I spotted a uh, a very beautiful snake, and it's very seldom seen. It's actually called uh, the rainbow snake, or Francia erythro uh, uri trogramma, I think. I'm not sure. It's really hard to pronounce, but uh. I cannot believe I just found one of these because these are uh, very uh, rare snakes. I mean, they're not rare, they're just very secretive species. They're highly aquatic. They spend most of their time underwater in murky water looking for eels, which is their main food source. And um, they're fairly distinctive. They're uh, black, shiny black with uh, red stripes going down the back. And uh, the belly is just amazing. Red with black dots and stuff. It's crazy. Well, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, very uh, seldom seen snake species. Uh, there's actually two species. There's the South Florida rainbow snake and uh, the rainbow snake. And the South Florida rainbow snake is actually believed to be extinct. Uh, the other closest relative is called the mud snake, which is uh, uh, the same family of snakes as in the Francia genus. Um, they get much bigger. They get about seven feet long. These ones get about five feet long. This is an average, average adult size. This is probably about three feet long. Um, very beautiful snakes and what's interesting is that juveniles do not have any of that yellow coloration you see when they're young they actually uh, more just red and as they get older they get more yellow it's kind of amazing and uh, they're pretty aptly named snake species they're just multicolored very pretty the eyes are very small as you can see and uh, as I told you they eat mainly eels which uh, is why they don't do very well in captivity and uh, you can see on the labials, the labia scales, there's actually these little black markings. It's pretty cool looking. And on top of the head, it's just amazing. There's just red little markings everywhere. And uh, the scales are very shiny and smooth. Um, it's just amazing. These are actually egg layers too, unlike most water snake species, which this is what differentiates or uh, separates these from uh, the Neurodia species. Um, just very cool. Um, I really was not expecting to see one of these today. It's just amazing. I've never expected ever to see one of these. Very uh, different snake. Very uh, just doesn't look like a snake almost. You know what I mean? I mean it is a snake. It's just different. The yellow and the red and the black is just crazy. But uh, yeah, uh, they do not bite, which is what's interesting. Uh, they never bite at all. I picked this thing up and it didn't even bite once. The only thing it did is uh, poke me with its tail. As you can see, it's just stabbing my hand with it. Um, these things are actually known as uh, eel moccasins, which is uh, because they eat eels, as I told you. Um, just a very unique snake. Uh, very different from other snakes. The rainbow snake is similar, except it doesn't have stripes going on the back. They're actually bars, like bands almost, that, on the sides. And uh, they don't have the yellow on the sides either. Just very primitive looking snakes. They look like sunbeam snakes. I don't know if you've ever heard of those. But uh, the belly is just crazy. Look at that. That's amazing looking. Very cool snake. Very excited to see one finally. Uh, we found a dead baby one last year. So uh, it's an added bonus, finally. One of my most wanted snake species of the year, too. So very cool. We see that bright or that wide uh, red band or stripe going on the body. And uh, another interesting fact is that these things are uh, have lay a lot of eggs. Mud snakes are known to lay up to 121 eggs, but uh, these guys usually lay around more like 60 eggs, which is still a lot of eggs. Um, they like to lay them in um, sandy soils, uh, upland a little bit from the rivers and stuff, so the eggs don't drown. Because I mean, this river probably like floods quite often, so the eggs would just get drowned. But it's an amazing snake, uh, very similar to mud snakes and uh, Carolina swamp snakes, which is another species I've been looking for. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna take some pictures of this bad boy or girl, whatever it is. Looks like a male and uh, let it go. I just can't believe I found one of these finally. Such an, uh, such an amazing snake. This is beauty is amazing. 
It's like a natural treasure. You see those little black spots on the chin? Check those out. Wow. That's amazing. Can't believe it, dude. But yeah, uh, I guess we'll uh, let it go and uh, see what else we can find. Well, guys, we're uh, going to let the rainbow snake go right where I found it. So long. You ready? There he goes. It's hard to believe those are wild snakes, dude. You know? There he goes. Maybe we'll see him again someday. Dude, he lives right here. I think there's probably eels under there, too. He lives right there. You can tell. Look, the way he just, like, totally... Check him out, dude. I see his little head and his little tongue coming out.